cell phone scratch repair demo step one phone has some scratches right there We have the three inch copper discs, which come in a 50 count box. They are a grip backing Velcro. I have the three inch Merca Deros sander. Um, it's electric, runs on 110, um, is variable speed 10,000 RPMs in 1,000 RPM increments down to 6,000 RPMs. Oops. Then for these scratches, uh, with that depth, I'm not going to measure them. I'll be using the remint abrasive compound 10. Um, with this, it's important to shake it well to get as it's designed so there is minimal settling, but settling does occur, um, especially depending on how long it's been in shipment or on a shelf. Um, so just agitate it for a little bit to get the uh, abrasive minerals. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's what happens when that's the first time you've opened it and it comes from Finland. So here in Utah, we have a little different altitude, which gives a little different pressure. I'm gonna release the pressure this way. Um, I really won't need much more compound than that. Probably about that much. And and I will do the whole phone um, just to keep everything even. What, what we've found is it's difficult to, um, if you do just this area, we also have a battery operated sander and that has a 1.25 inch disc or copper disc option. Um, that was where we first started. And then we realized that the three inch disc and, and covering the entire phone is a little bit better. When we do just a small area, that transition from the repaired area to the, the factory finish on the glass, it's very difficult to blend the two finishes and make them perfect again. It's possible, it's difficult. Uh, so I will start at 4,000 RPMs. And when you, we're doing this, what we're doing is doing a crosshatch pattern to ensure that we're getting uh, equal coverage on the entire phone through the process. So that we're trying to cover the entire phone surface with equal amounts of, of sanding. That's why the three inch was ideal. What we found was ideal was because it makes it cover much easier. So as you can see, whoops, as you can see, the sometimes when I would pass this way, it would start to look a little bit dry. I'm gonna just add a little squirt of water there just to keep the, the solution nice and wet. I'm gonna focus just a little bit right there where I've, I know the scratches are. All right, now I'll stop. I'm gonna turn this off, power it down, just so I can set it upside down and keep that off of my table. One of the things with this is, is each, 
each of the different, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and each one of them has different grit size minerals inside. And so with it, I, I liken it to a sterile surface. So if you're going to use this pad, you can only use this pad with this grit. If you then try that pad with this one, this copper disc with the 30, you will have still some of the, the 10 size minerals, the larger minerals leaving larger scratches in the surface of the phone. So I'll just give it another squirt. This is just water in a little squirt bottle for ease. You'll, it'll be, become much more apparent when the polishing comes, step comes. This is just a rag that I have. I have a, a nice microfiber cloth that I'll use when I'm doing the, uh, the polishing which is much more critical. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me. I don't have quite the matte finish in the black area that I'm looking for. We're looking for complete uniformity where it will look as though it's a frosted glass and it's close, but we're not quite there. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more and go over it for just a couple more minutes. back on and when you turn it on the Deros will always remember the last rpm it was set at so it'll be at the 4000 rpm and it is possible it it's acceptable to speed it up we could go up to maybe 6000 what will happen is it will with the higher rpm it'll dry out the compound just a little bit more And the key with this is just holding the, the sander completely flat. I'm not trying to put a lot of pressure on it. I'm really just not even quite the weight of my arm and the weight of the sander. Now I'm gonna add a little squirt of water. Unfortunately, I don't have time lapse or anything like that, so you'll have to just fast forward. Um, there we go. So now, wipe the old slurry off. And each time I try to find a new, a clean spot on my towel, and that's what's telling me if I'm getting all of the slurry, removing the slurry because of the gray on the white. All right. That looks a lot better. Now there's no, it's, it's all completely uniform, the frosted look on there. So now what I'll do in an ideal situation, the phone would then be passed on to the next station, which would have a different sander and a different pad set up and whichever grit is next. Um, and so you're not using the same products in the same area again, for that sterile process idea. So I'm limited on <laughs> what I have here since we're in my basement. I'm gonna just flip this over and then wipe the backside off, try to get anything that did 
transfer through that came through. This is just an anti-slip mat. So I'll put that down here. And then I will take, remove this. And this is why I say it's nice to have another station where this one just stays set up with the, the abrasive compound 10 on it. But I can set that aside and, and reuse that again if I haven't do another phone with the uh, the abrasive compound 10. We just need to remember that that one was used with 10. So personally, the 10, actually the 10 is the one that does most of the work. That's the one that you're going to spend the most time with as far as the, the uh, sanding compounds. And when we first started we actually would do number 10 and then polish from that step. But what I found is if we do, if we then go after we've removed the scratch and we then use the abrasive compound 30, this is gonna wanna spill again because of the pressure since this is the first time I'm opening it. Uh, so with the 30, oh, that's way more than I wanted, but it won't hurt anything. It will, uh, if we just hit it for just maybe about a minute, and all we're trying to do in this step is refine the scratch, smooth out any of the, the deeper valleys or the higher peaks that, that were produced when we were uh, using the abrasive compound 10, just smooth it out a little bit before we then polish. And again, we'll just use the same RPMs of anywhere you can, you'll decide what you would prefer. Um, you'll notice there is a little different sound though, as you're sanding the difference between the abrasive compound 10 and the abrasive compound 30. With the 10, you can hear the, the abrasive mineral in the, in the slurry as you're sanding with it. With this, it's much smoother, much less gritty. In the samples I send you, you'll be able to feel, I'll show you a little test that we do. Not a test, but a, a way to, to in the field distinguish how gritty a compound may be, especially in the automotive world for polishing compounds. All right, that's long enough for the 30, turn it off. Since we're done with that, and we'll just give it a little squirt here and actually open up to a fresh part of the towel. Now with this, you will use a lot of towels because they're, especially in the beginning, there's a lot of checking where you're not quite, you haven't dialed it in the, the time required for each scratch. So you'll end up using a lot of towels where you'll clean it off to check if you've removed the scratch. Um, when I come up to do the demo in person, as you saw in the video, I will actually do another video because I don't have it here with me. It's in my office, but I have one of the little portable versions of the tool that was sh shown to measure the scratch uh, in our, our uh, YouTube video. So that is the scratch removal process. Let me get this off. After the 30, it's not with the naked eye it's there's not a lot of visual difference between the 30 and the 10 it's just notable difference when it comes time to polish so with that i will pause or i will stop this video 
and produce another video once I change the setup a little bit and I'll go over the setup changes with for the polishing step.